Today it's all about how to remove smog, fog and even dust from surfaces in your pictures in Affinity Photo. I will show you different techniques throughout the video, so let's get started. I will start with this old photo and we will remove the haze and the smog from this picture. So what you want to do is go down here to adjustments and select levels. This will help you a lot of the way and just go here with the black and the white level. So move in, you can see there is nothing going on here. So you can move this in, the picture is getting darker, but it's not a problem because we are going to move up the white levels to the other side. And as you can see, it's improving the picture a lot. Already most of the haze, most of the smog is gone in our picture. And we can now try to improve the colors a bit. There we go. So you can apply other techniques. For example, you can do go down here and uh, select curves. And in the curves, you can go down here where it says master and select the different colors. So probably we want to influence a little bit on how the red and the blue parts of the picture work. Let's drag down the blue part a little bit. Let's see, maybe in the shades more and the lights less. There we go. So the uh, trees look nice. Let's see what we can do with the red side. Go up a little bit in the darker parts of the picture. There we go. And that's kind of nice, actually, as a picture. You can, of, of course, invest more time in really adjusting the colors so they look right. But as you can see, we have removed almost all of the smog in the picture. You can see clearly now everything that's going on in the picture. So if we compare this to the original picture, you have a much, much better picture. Of course, in this case, it's an old camera. Like I said, it's like... 14 years old already this picture so it's a bit hard to get really good colors uh, you can also go up here to white balance take the picker and see if you can improve it even more hmm, maybe that was not the best choice but we can try to maybe reduce the opacity so we have it just a little bit in the picture maybe 25 or 15 percent Let's make it 20%. Let's see. There we go. So this improves it a little bit. And if you compare this to the original picture, this is a lot improved. So you can do really a lot. If you have a newer camera, of course, the colors will look a lot better. The contrast will look a lot better and the sharpness will be a lot better. This is an old camera, but I found it to be a nice example because it's really foggy. So there you have the difference. Now we go to the other picture and there it's a different technique um, that I would apply and it's select the layer of the picture and then just duplicate it and go up here and set it to um, color burn. And you can see there's a lot of color in the picture. Of course, this is way too much. We don't need that much. So we will reduce that. Uh, to a value where we see the colors nicely and we have just a little bit of haze left in the picture. So this looks kind of good. And then again, we will select down here our adjustments and go to the levels and move in. As you can see, there's nothing happening here in the blacks and there in the whites. So we can move this over a little bit to improve the picture even more. There we go. And you can, of course, go down here and select the gamma and also push the picture if you want to have it lighter or darker or if this is too uniform over all of the picture you can of course again select uh, your curves tool to just adjust uh, some of the picture like if you want to say i want to have the darker parts lighter but the lighter parts not lighter so you can just make two selections of these points uh, to make the line almost equal to the original source and just move around um, the darker parts of the picture you can see. 
So you can get a really nice result with really nice colors in it uh, from something that almost looked like a black and white picture. Let looks, let's look at the original picture. So here it doesn't look like anything. It seems like a lost photo, um, but applying these different layers, you get a lot back from the original colors, from the original beauty of the picture. So you can create and really bring back uh, what you have lost and remove basically the dust from the surface. So this looks almost like it's after a rain, like it was wet some seconds before. So, okay, this is basically it. It's two very quick techniques on how to remove dust and haze. Let's look at the other picture again. Very hazy, very much smog in this city. And we applied just some adjustments and it became a really clear and nice day. Again, it's an old camera, so colors are not as nice as with a new camera, but the technique is the same. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.